Okay, finally together here. Such a pleasure to have you here, guys. Thank so, you so much. Welcome. So let's start. Uh, I, actually, that's a personal question because yesterday I saw the show live and I saw your duet, Laura and Mika. So my question is, uh, how did you choose the, the song you sang yesterday together and uh, what was the, the purpose of that choice? Sure. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. We don't know what day of <laughs> week or time it is anymore. <laughs> um, the, uh, the point, well, when we were given the opportunity to sing together, we, we tried to think how to handle singing together in a show where the, the point is not us. And it's the same thing for the performances tomorrow. The, the point is the contestants and the countries that are presenting themselves. They've prepared for this for a very long time. So it was about having the right message. That was the thing that was fundamental. So um, it was about the text of those uh, songs, starting off with a very simple message that says, we are fragile, each one of us is fragile, despite all these lights, all this artifice, despite all this idea of, you know, going towards the light and competing, there's still a, a, a huge amount of fragility. But the next step is, but together, united with this kind of vision of uh, a collective vision of what we want to achieve, we can also be powerful. So if we are individually fragile, together, united, we are powerful. Singing a song by Sting, uh, and then segueing into Patti Smith, um, in a context like Eurovision, time like this seemed like the appropriate thing to do. And, and the track was quite, also the music was quite simple and restrained, and really was an emphasis on the mass vocal. There was actually this thing that I saw on YouTube, YouTube that uh, the artistic director also sent us, called, um, and it was Patti Smith singing in a church. Uh, and she was singing in a church, and she just had a little acoustic band with her, and the whole congregation was replying, people have the power. And if you can see it on YouTube, it gives you goosebumps. Yeah, so absolutely. that's where it all came from. Yeah, I mean, it's the same. I'm, I'm sharing the same this moment. And when he gave me the title. We wanted, we had a bunch of names of songs that we liked uh, and we wanted to, you know, like improve. But we, we, he told me, why don't we think about Fragile and people have the power? And I thought exactly the same that he explained to all of you, because the message is also a message of peace, uh, united people meaning peace useful usually and uh, our hands touching like this and I mean it's a, it's a symbolic song uh, and it was magical for me to share that moment with Mika oh, for me too but also it was something that felt appropriate within the context of of all the other performances mm -hmm. did you see that the scene was very like nude was not a kind of uh, uh, scenography or choreography, like boom, boom. Spectacular. Like, yeah, it, it was really concentrated on the lyrics, on the voices and the music, which I think it helped us to realize a very touch, touching moment. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, I saw you because I went inside, and, and so uh, the, moment, the moment before you were presenting, and then you ran away, and you came back, and you started to <laughs> sing, and the magic happened. So, a round of applause to them. It was really grazie. Thank you. So, next question is for Alessandro. You explained Ooh. to the whole world the Italian way. So, how did this idea come to you? How? And do you see yourself as an Italian ambassador? Oh, um, not that much, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And, well, the story is that I've been given the opportunity to work on a cold opening for the second semi-final, which is something that I often do in my shows. So I started to think about the, the subject for that cold opening. And, and I thought, uh, well, we thought, me and my team, that a good subject would have been the, um, the stereotypes that revolves around our country. And we asked some foreign people, what do you think about us? 
and what are the, um, the, 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 the bad things that the other people see in us. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people told us, okay, you, you, you're funny, you're good, but you're not punctual, uh, your style in, when, when work is involved, it, it, it's not so sharp. And I said, okay, it's a, it's a little bit rude, but in a way there's also a little bit of truth in what they were saying. So we thought that that could be a good start from, for, for a cold opening. But somehow we, we make things work. And it's, it's like uh, some, something magical that, that we have. We might not have all the knowledge and all the skills, but somehow we make things work. And that's, that's where we right. started from Bravo. To, to do this cold opening. And a good dancer. Oh, You're a good dancer. Ah, thank you. Yes, also, of also. <laughs> okay. You are, you are. Okay, let's start oh. with the uh, first question from the audience. So, uh, the first one was that one. Yeah, you. That's yeah. you. Yeah. First come, first serve. Good afternoon, it's JP from Radio International, and it's a real pleasure and honor to, to be speaking to you. You gave us two magical semi-finals uh, in hosting. I must make a big compliment to Rai, selecting you for being the pres presenters, host of Eurovision. How did you find out about being the host, and what was your reaction to be hosting this huge music show? Well, for me, it was... Uh, um, I wanted to enjoy it. I didn't want my stress, which I used to have every time I'm going on, like a guest on a television show, to invade me. So I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to really enjoy the stage, my friends, the music once again. Because for me, this is the first time after COVID uh, on a stage with uh, an audience. So I couldn't wait that moment. And that's strange, but I, I was not afraid. That's very strange from me. <laughs> well, I'm always like shaking. And this time, probably because of Mika and Ale, I, feel, I felt very comfy and um, I, I actually can't wait for tomorrow because the finale will be ba 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 boom, <laughs> I think. Yeah, same here. I think we are, we are soulmates in a way because I would have said the same thing she, she said. Uh, I felt really honored when they asked me to, to host alongside with Laura and, and Mika the Eurovision. And the morning before the, the, the first semifinal, I woke up a little bit stressed and then I stopped, stared, looked in the mirror, stared at myself and I said to myself, no, 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 just enjoy. This is your work, you can do it. You are there with two friends. Uh, you are there with people who want to have fun. So just enjoy it and don't think of anything else. Um, I, when I was called, it was actually Stefano Coletta, who is the director of Rayuno, who called me up and he was like, listen, this is, uh, this is what's going on. Um, and I actually, <laughs> um, I was alone at home. I was with my dogs. And I got quite, um, I actually got quite moved. I've, I have to be honest with you. And, and then I got the same feeling when we did the first, I was so jet lagged. And a, a couple, two weeks ago when I arrived, because yeah. I came straight from, from tour and, um, and they threw us on stage and we had to do a simulation of the votes. And I just, I sat there and I was like, oh my God. It's like, this is like, I, I've been, you know, I've watching this since I was 12. Um, I might have, you know, said a lot of things about it since I was 12, and sometimes publicly, like a couple of years ago, but still been watching this since I was younger than 12. Um, and I think that the reason why, I, I just, I was like, God, I wish I could tell my mom. <laughs> and so I started, no, but I started doing music when I was really young, and um, I have, have an American passport. I've never really had this sense of where I belong. Um, and so to be asked to do a show like this in Italy, speaking in English, this kind of mutt that comes from Lebanese, Syrian, French-influenced, American, English background, who, who found a country that 
he loves, which is Italy, amongst others, but a big place for Italy. Um, it, and within the concept of what Eurovision is and what Europe is, it made me feel really, really honored to be asked. And the only thing I wish was that I could tell my mom, because she was the first one who kicked me into this job and into this business, and that, that was the one thing. That's probably why I, just one thing I regret. Grazie mille. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Alexandro, Alexandro, what did you feel? Me? <laughs> uh, yeah. You, you want to answer? Answer? You want to answer? You too. I already About did. That question. He did it already. It did. It already did. He did it already. He he did. Did it already. Yeah. Okay. You already. So probably the answer was not so good. If you don't <laughs> it, but uh, I did answer. <laughs> um, I have a next question from Greece, uh, Dimitrios Christoulias. Would you like the participating countries to sing in their national language? And what are your favorite languages besides Italian? This is a and good this is question. for Alessandro. Ah, can so we all if, if, if I do like yes. them to sing in their national language? And yes. What's your favorite? Would you, would you like the participating countries uh, uh, to sing? Yes, in their I, 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 do I do like it. I do like it because mm, sometimes when you, when you hear the lyrics, you, you might have the wrong idea of, of the song because there are songs that are good for the lyrics, other than are good for, for the bass, the drums, and, and the rhythm, and stuff like that, and I, I don't even want to listen to, to, to the lyrics. Um, so I, I, I like that. My favorite, uh, can, can I say what's my favorite? Can, uh, yeah. can I? Yeah. Favorite, favorite language song or language? Language. 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 Uh, language. Yes. Yes, Your but if I one. say the language, you would... <laughs> You Besides would know the song. Italian. But in general... Uh, Besides Italian. Yeah. Well, Good my Italian. wife is half German, half Brazilian, so I like Portuguese a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I like Portuguese. I like... Uh, I like French. French. I like French, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next question from the venue. Yes, I say you first. Second line. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Work? Uh -huh. Oh. Work. Hey. Hello. Okay. Shalom. How are you? My name is Leon. I'm from Mako Music uh, website in Israel, and uh, I want to ask you about something that happened yesterday uh, during the semi-final. Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, all the media in Israel is actually very criticizing uh, Michael about uh, not about the song and not about the disqualif disqualification yesterday, but about the interruption. To you before we start, you, before you started the vote, uh, when he crashes to your stage and uh, started reading from the teleprompter and waving the flag and kissing you. Um, well, no, you were there. Quello quello. Successo. Yep. Uh, so the question is, uh, how did you react uh, about uh, what he did? How do you feel about that? Um, that's about it. Okay. Has he has he been disqual disqualified? Yes, yes, of course. Didn't I didn't through. know that. I didn't know that. No, no, uh, I'm, of course. I'm, I'm sorry for, for him. And um, no, for me, for me uh, honestly, honestly, uh, it, I, I think he was an honest guy who was having fun. Maybe he had a, a drink or two <laughs> too much. But really, n no hard feelings. It, it doesn't make me... Do you like the kiss? <laughs> I would say yes. Well, so, <laughs> I mean, so what's the big deal? I mean, yeah. it, is, it is about R them. Really, no hard feelings. I, I, I thought it was like, I don't know. I thought it was funny. But I know we, we are, um, I, I don't know. I will ah, honestly nice. say the, that the, 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 the for me, it was not a big deal. It's, it's about them. If anything, the final green room sections should be even more about them. This show is about them. If anything, those moments make Eurovision. Um, 
okay, kiss apart the fact that someone comes in and puts themselves there, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, there's always margins, you know, there's always a boundary, but put that aside for a second. If anything, the final and all the moments in the green one should be even more celebrating them. Thank you. But what's yeah, the but problem for really kiss? No. Okay, thank you for your Can question. I so. No, but no problem for kiss. We are able to kiss each other. I mean, it's kiss. It's just a kiss. I, I, now I, under, I, I understood what, what, you, what you were talking about. And I no, because t today I read, I read something and I, and I uh, find myself in the awkward position of being defended by, from something that it really didn't affect me at all. Yeah, but this uh, is our life every day. I mean, they, they write and tell everything about everyone, but we really enjoyed it, the fact he was here. He was very nice and funny. He embraced us and, and kiss, kiss. This is peace. Darling, this is peace. And that's the Eurovision, as you said before. Okay. So no, I, I think the position is clear. very nice with him too, so I don't... Okay, let's, okay. thank you so much. Let's give to you the next question from, for Laura from Spain. Laura, we love you. What can we expect from you in the next future? Ha ha ha, in Espanol. Eh, bueno, thank you first of all for the love you send us, because I'm reading every day uh, articles, newspapers and everything, magazine, that are talking about this Eurovision, uh, like uh, we are the best team, the three of us. So thank you, Spain. Uh, and my next steps, uh, I cannot tell, but uh, is, um, yeah, is involving Spain to write. Yeah, yeah, but I cannot tell. I'm sorry. Muchas gracias a todos. Leo todo lo que ven, que, que escriben. Me siento flipada porque, pues, de otro nivel. O sea, gracias España, te amo, te adoro. Gracias. <laughs> Thank you. So, next question. Yes, you. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> yes? Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, hello. Firstly, I want to applaud you all on your showmanship in the rehearsals. Um, there's been a lot of huge props this year, which means you're likely going to have to fill for time at certain points, particularly between um, Australia and the UK, two yeah. huge pieces. Um, will they be writing extra material? for you to um, potentially fill for time during the final broadcast? Or will you be going to certain artists in the green room to kind of give an impromptu interview with some very talkative artists this year? I think both. Yeah, I think both. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think it's got to be both. If it's, if it's, it's not just a, 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 a skit comedy show, it's definitely not. Or at, at least that's definitely not why they called me. But um, I think yeah. both. It's a healthy yeah. balance. Yeah. Did, you did see that was the first time ever that the UK was able to put the set on stage in those conditions. So it will be faster than that, please. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your question. So uh, I got a question from the virtual press room for Mika from yes. Hungary. Have you ever considered the idea of acting in a movie? I would love to see you on the big screen. Yeah. It will be good. Da, 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 da. That, that would be... Uh, I take that as an enormous compliment, and I also think that that might be a big mistake. No, 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 don't say that. So you, don't, you don't know. I don't. I, Even I, we Yeah, one. but I, I don't Come know, on. but I would yeah, then. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but then I would, um, I would uh, have to suffer the consequences of finding out. So I don't you know. You also have to find a time to do that because yeah, time, his time. schedule is the one, like, is the craziest one of the, the three of us, right? But it's really quite an amazing energy when you're when you're there. It really is. It's just like um, it 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 kind of carries you. The the fans are unbelievable. They are so serious. They they know every word to every song, and I'm talking about the the, the core fans of Eurovision. They are yeah. at the heart of this whole thing. They've traveled. Uh, and and some a lot of them have saved up a lot to be here, and, and they just they, it gives an intensity to the uh, to the whole experience, which you have to you have to live it once in person to yeah. you know. Lucky us that we have this kind of audience because these kind of fans are touching us and moving us so much while we are presenting, also, right? Yeah, it's so true. They are, they are really you. there. They're looking at you like waiting for an answer or some news, which is 
really like emotionally give, give us goosebumps, right? Exactly. Excuse me, you with the boy, Cap, yeah, you have, uh, been where do you come from? Sweden. Sweden. I, I like, can you come here? <laughs> do, you, do you remind the, the duo uh, from the, I, I imagine the 80s, the, the name was The Bros. Do you remember that? Can you can he come in here that we, I want to do with you like <laughs> <laughs> Okay Apparently now It's like this <laughs> Come in here Where the yeah the Matt and Paul Goss wait, Exactly uh, come wait, no, no, Now we three. have a You're the presenter now Oh Like the host Okay wait one second I'll switch jobs Okay, okay. Are you, uh, I have no don't, idea what you, I'm doing. That, you have yes, no idea what you're doing, but don't fuck it up. This is the moment. I'm going to introduce you. So, do you Ladies remember... Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time at Eurovision, <laughs> relaunching for all of you at this press conference. I can't, there's no go bar. I can't speak anymore. Relaunching. You better, are you ready to sing? This is what you get. The hands like this, right? So, okay. The relaunch of Bros with When Will I Be Famous? When will, will I... I Will I be famous? I can't answer. I can't answer now. This is too much for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's no, over. More than my life. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you for your performance. <laughs> but I think, to, to, to be fair, the, the, the time reason, of your life. The reason why we noticed you so much was because. I, <laughs> So just think just, about it. You could no, have no, done no. the question, he, but you've you got this. Yeah, you did. You did have a question. Would you like to ask your question, or do, are you do, too? Do you have a question? Yeah, of course. And <laughs> now turn. he's going to kill us. <laughs> I might actually, since I'm one of the serious journalists here, uh, we have. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> but, 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 what? And the other ones? Uh, we have seen you through this uh, rather chaotic uh, rehearsal. Yes. Uh, do you feel prepared enough for tomorrow? Yeah. And also, uh, must the audience tomorrow embrace themselves and prepare themselves for an equally disastrous broadcast as the now infamous 1991 one from Rai and Rome? Well, uh -huh. oh, I don't you know. You invited him here <laughs> <laughs> before the question. First the question, then maybe yeah, the Yeah, exactly. I, I... <laughs> this is me. I'm sorry. No, I want to I wanna answer to the first question. Uh, usually the very first rehearsal for the live show is almost like that. Every, I mean, the other two were the same. Of course, the, the, the final one is really, uh, it's longer, first of all. And uh, we are arriving after 15 days, very heavy 15 days. But uh, I thought, it, I think it, it, it will be great. I want to do that. I feel their energy. I feel that they want that too. Uh, remember, yeah, we are Italian. Sometimes we are judged like uh, not so responsible, but we are more than... Um, many other th persons and um, I'm also and Ali we are uh, astrological sign Taurus so pay no, attention okay. to us please pay attention we are Taurus what can and go wrong is no uh, what, so, what are you I don't know what I am no you know who you are like pieces or no. well, well, well he doesn't want to say firstly the the the, the whole um, I think there's been a huge effort here to, uh, in, or, in order to kind of welcome and execute such an enormous structure and such a challenging format, okay? Um, and so the, the mission was really set, and that's why from the first semifinal, it, it, was, it was really a, a giant question mark for, for everyone, for all of us. It was like, can we pull this off? And I say we, the collective we, because we're all in it together. Um, you know, um, and yes, I think we have. The first two semifinals have been great, uh, and they weren't without their challenges. I will admit that the rehearsal today 
was <laughs> was uh, was somewhat challenging, and I it was hard doing it. So just sitting there watching it was probably far worse for you. Um, how, uh, however, however, it it was uh, to find our place to go through it uh, properly. I think that the one of the things is that the final is now you know the semifinals are getting bigger and bigger and bigger which means that you have to deliver three major shows, spectacular shows, in one week. Uh, I think that because of that, the dividends that you reap from successful semifinals and spectacular semifinals, well, the price is that once you get to the actual first step towards the final, I mean, that's not the first step, to be honest with you, it's hard. Are we uh, tired? Is the crew tired? Yes. Are they going to get their shit together? <laughs> yes. And is it going to be good? Yes. And we say jamais deux sans trois in French, you know? We've done two good shows and we're going to do a third one tomorrow. Non c'è due senza tre in Italian. Let me repeat. Non c'è due. Non c'è due. Senza. Senza. Tre. Tre. Bravissimo. Viva la Svezia, Sweden. We will do our best. We want to do that. And we want, we want to be warm. We and want to be cold, like technical. You know, this is, for example, I, I talk for me, but yeah. I know. It's and the same and don't that. worry, you, you are not singing tomorrow. No, no, Plus no. Worry up. Worry up. <laughs> yeah. Because maybe I call you if I find this, this cap. <laughs> if Ebu, let me, you know. Plus, you are clearly Gemini. <laughs> Absolutely, see, you're clearly Gemini, I can tell. I was about to say, yeah. No, guys, don't. guys, Ari guys. No, Ari is my hey, favorite one. You, you're going to you, have to say that. You're stoking the lion. By the way, is Virgo. <laughs> what? I'm not Virgo. We, you are what? No! A, a August 18th. I'm a fucking lion. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. <laughs> Listen from you. So, uh, uh, I'm Pisces, so can I... Can I do two questions? Uh, can I? Because I'm Pisces, so two questions <laughs> for me. Uh, for Alessandro, Alessandro from Romania, I really enjoyed your performances those days. Uh, do you have any formula for keeping such a physical and mental shape? That's the first one. And the second one is from Italy. <laughs> Whoa, first. And after so much time with those two companions, don't you want to make a music album with them? With, I don't know, for, by yourself or with them? I don't you know. have to ask them if they want me. They, they, can, do the, they can do it. it. It's me that would be out of place. Uh, no, I don't do anything to keep my body in shape. I drink a lot of beer. Uh, but, but I do pee right after. So probably <laughs> it all goes away the exact minute. Yes. That I drink it. So probably that's my secret. <laughs> But that's nature. You cannot have it unless you have it. Thank you for being specific. Okay. Thank, Thank you. So you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and, uh, and now it, so we have a special guest here on stage with us. And please welcome the mayor of Turin, Stefano Lorusso. The fourth Power Ranger. <laughs> Welcome. Please have a seat. Of course. Make you comfortable. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? But fine, thank you. Of course. Are you happy for the so city? Good. We're good. Yes, okay. We are really, really proud to be here and uh, really so happy to guest uh, this wonderful event in our city because there is a very nice atmosphere just uh, inside and outside the Uh, the Pala Olimpico and uh, everywhere in the city, a lot of uh, all people are crazy, incredible. Uh -huh. And thanks to, to you for uh, the energy that you can transmit during the transmission for everybody that are involved in this kind of wonderful uh, event. Okay, and, and what about Turin, uh, this exciting city in these days, so crazy and amazing? Yes, there are. Uh, very, very uh, crazy atmosphere in the city, both in the city center, in the uh, Euro, Eurovision uh, village that we have in the Valentino Park, 
uh, not only here, so we are really excited about what is the effects of the event in, the, in our city, especially for uh, the young people, but not only. We have a lot of all, all, uh, all ages that are involved. I, I've, been, I've been at the Egyptian Museum uh, last week, and I invite everyone to visit. It's so amazing. I've been with my daughter and uh, she was enjoying it so much. It's beautiful. Probably the most important Egyptian one, right? Yes, it's, uh, yeah. it's uh, the, the most important probably in the world. In the 2024, we will uh, celebrate the 200th anniversary. So we have a very big uh, event and uh, there is the Egyptian Museum, the Cinema Museum, a lot of uh, restaurants that you can taste. And, yeah, uh, we would like to taste because actually <laughs> I cannot eat anything because I'm always on a diet when I'm on TV. And so when tomorrow, no, tomorrow night, please offer me a very good pizza with double cheese. Cioè, doppia mozzarella che è differente che dire double cheese. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, I will enjoy it. Let me yes, test yes, your uh, Torino okay. food, please. Yes, I have the, my, my favorite pizzeria is just a few hundred meters from here. So... They are the providing of pizza for any celebrities here. Uh, so no, not only can celebrities, pizza. I, that I can call hungry. him and, uh, to give you the pizza. Se tutti abbiamo una fame della Madonna qua dentro. Vabbè, excuse me for the rest of the world, but it's not uh, pro possible to translate. <laughs> so. Okay. Sorry? Yeah, suggest well, some pizzeria, the, some names. The pizzeria. The favorite pizzeria of the mayor or the best pizzeria? Yes, yes there is. It's we will uh, give you a list. Around. We will give you a list. I mean, I mean guys, it's the mayor, <laughs> not a concierge. So <laughs> we're going to talk about this later. I can, yeah. I can provide a very long list of restaurants. As all uh, major, they eat only. No, no, I didn't <laughs> work on <laughs> Thank you so okay, much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so, so enjoy for the event. Thank you very much for, uh, to Mika, to Laura, and to Alessandro. And uh, thank you very much to all the journalists and all the delegation that are uh, incredibly active in also the promotion of the city uh, using the social media, the broadcasting, and everything. For us, it's a very amazing moment, and we hope that is, uh, we will continue also in the future. Can I, can I please, uh, may, may I say something regarding the show uh, of tomorrow? Uh, Mika and I, we will perform separately, but we will have our moment uh, that is our life because we are musicians. And I, I wrote down something because I don't want to explain in a, with bad words. Uh, so please be, be patient, but uh, uh, it's very important for me to say that. Um, after shooting my movie, I got back uh, into the world of art and colors, which is what I, what I studied. Uh, I started from this passion to build the opening of tomorrow night that tells five musicals mom few musical moments, but also five different songs from five different records of mine and five years of my career. Uh, and I wanted to use color blocks to highlight these moments. The difficult part we are trying to do with the musician, the backing vocalists, uh, the dancers, and the technicians is to make each song a one-minute color block. Then the whole scene has to be changed very fast because it has to grow frame by frame. If every one of us gets, gets it wrong, uh, the definition is lost. That's the hardest part. Uh, that's the reason why I like it and why I want to do that in this way. Uh, I always want to find a new stimulus to grow and challenge myself on a new path after almost 30, 30 years of career. Uh, and I don't want to settle down, um, settle down on what I already know uh, how to do. I want difficulties that become challenges to overcome, and I want to deserve what I've done in my career. That's why I want to prove to myself and everyone is watching. I finally uh, also would like to thank very much uh, Miss Marinella Soldi, Mr. Stefano Coletta, thank you for asking me to be here, Mr. Claudio Fasulo and Miss Silvia Levato, and all the staff from RAI that believed in me and they wanted me for this adventure. And also our amazing writers, Barbara Cappi, 
for me and Giorgio Capozzo, Ermano La Bianca, Max Novaresi, Federico Giunta, Ivan Cotroneo, and Mar Tiziana Martinengo, uh, our uh, Francis for coaching us in English, and Lacho, our choreographer, and Cristian Biondani and Duccio Forzano, our directors. And for me, it has been, and it is, luckily, uh, an amazing experience to st share the stage with uh, Ale and Mika. So, grazie amici miei, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Time is running out, so I want to say thank you very much for your time here. Thank Can't wait to see you on stage for the grand final. And thank you to the mayor of Turin, Stefano Lorusso. Thank you so thank much. Thank you to our Good amazing host, everybody. Alessandro Cattelan, Laura, Laura Pausini, Pausini and Mika. Mika. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.